Welcome, everybody. Uh, I'm super excited to talk to you about the master's project course and particularly the incubator piece of this uh, course. Um, as you'll see from this opening slide, I really have three uh, main things I want to get across in this session. I want to certainly welcome you to this course. Um, I want to talk about the general description of the master's project paper and also why we created the incubator. So there's, this course is a bit unusual in that sense. Um, so first of all, I just want to uh, say that I love teaching this course. Uh, it's an incredible opportunity for me to learn as well as you learn and learn from each other. Um, this is really quintessential to the Maxwell experience. That is, we're trying to apply theory uh, in a really practical way. And these project papers are meant to be a very practical exercise in how we apply the things that you've learned to the real world. Um, one of the first questions I hope to answer is, what is this cor capstone course really all about? And I think the first thing to understand is it's, it's quite different than the other online EMPA classes that you've taken. And I realize it's for some of you, that difference is gonna be very exciting. And for others of you, that might create a little bit of anxiety. So I'm here uh, uh, to kind of help alleviate whatever anxieties you might be feeling at this moment. Um, certainly the syllabus is a great place to um, get a sense of what the course is all about, the timing, the sequence, uh, the expectations, et cetera, et cetera. So um, that's, that's a really important document for you to review and um, I'll begin to uh, uh, digest. Uh, but just a few words about that. Um, we're, we're asking students to actually start work on this course before the actual course begins. And our basic concern is that to write a very high quality master's project paper, you're gonna need more than 11 weeks to do that. So as the syllabus will show you, uh, we're really asking you to develop a project topic, but also a project proposal uh, before the first day of class begins. And that's what we're calling the incubator uh, piece of this course. Um, I think the other, the other thing that's quite different about this course that is, is really, really important um, is that we're asking you to integrate concepts. It's not about a lot of new learning, although I'm sure you're gonna learn things along the way. So in this sense, the learning objective for this particular course, uh, it's about integrating the things that you've learned in the past more so than actually new content. So I think that's important to take on board and also to understand. Um, the, the typical class, uh, both within the incubator and actually the course itself, is going to be quite different um, than what you've experienced in previous courses. So you're, we're not necessarily going to meet every week, uh, but there'll be a lot of informal interactions between the instructors and all of you uh, to work on your specific projects. So that's another thing to note, uh, and that's something that'll be explained in more detail during the synchronous, synchronous sessions of this program. Um, a, a critical learning objective, uh, in addition, that I'd like to, to point out is that we're looking for a master's project paper that is evidence-based. Um, and of course, that's been a big part of your learning already in the online EMPA program, but we're not, we're not interested in just simple opinions about what you think about a particular subject, but we're, we're very, very interested in, in understanding what types of evidence, data, research, uh, working papers, best practice, and other things um, that you can actually bring to the table that helps elucidate the, the topic that you're exploring. Um, and another critical learning objective with this particular program, or this particular course, I should say, is the communication. That is the communication from you to the intended audience. And that'll be a big part of the incubation period where we define not just the topic, not just the proposal, but what, the, what role you're playing uh, as, as the person that's constructing this project paper, but, but perhaps even more important, uh, who, what is the audience that's actually gonna review this particular project paper? And how are we gonna make that uh, uh, paper compelling to them? Um, so just to reiterate, the pre-course preparation is essential, less about new material, more about integrating concepts, and the sessions uh, that we construct around this course are gonna be quite different um, than previous courses, and perhaps there'll be a lot more informal faculty and student interaction. So that's a general overview of the master paper project in general. Um, 
What I want to talk about a little bit more here as well is, is the actual incubator. So what I'm talking about here is the, the, the piece of the learning management system that is specifically designed to get you ready uh, for the first day of class when the actual course starts. Um, so within this incubator, there, there are two big uh, 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 content matters or content uh, areas. The first one is what we're calling the project context subjects. And what I mean by that is um, there, there's materials, there's references to basically give you a sense of, of what we think is important in terms of understanding the project context for this particular uh, assignment or this particular uh, course. How do we develop an idea? How might you gather information and evidence for your projects? And also importantly, how you reflect on things like organizational analysis, stakeholder analysis related to your particular project. So in, in this sense, um, we're calling it the project context uh, because we're trying to give you a sense of some generalizable ideas about how you can frame uh, the projects that you're put, pulling together. Um, the second main area of the, of the incubator is around the key content areas for the paper. So every paper needs to have at least three elements. Uh, and that will be described in some detail in terms of the written documents that are available for your reference in the incubator. But just to be clear, um, we're very interested in uh, um, identifying policy analysis, poly policy impl implementation, and also how one leads policy change. And these are the three main content areas. Um, they relate direct directly to um, the coursework that you've done in the past leading up to this particular capstone experience. Um, but those are, the, those are the main reference materials that we want to highlight. Um, in the incubator itself, and I'm talking thus uh, about the three months prior uh, to the actual start of the capstone course, there are two main assignments. And again, they'll be described in great detail in the, in the incubator, but just to be clear, uh, the first one is to develop a project topic. And what we're asking is that students prepare these project topics at least three, three months prior to the actual start of the class. Um, in this sense, we're talking about what, what area of interest do you want to explore. It could be about healthcare, it could be about um, cybersecurity, it could be about a whole range of things. Um, but in that regard, we're interested in the topic, why it interests you, and who might your intended audience be. Um, the, once, once you and uh, the instructor settle on a project topic, then what we ask you to do is to come together, uh, uh, put together, I should say, a project proposal. It'll be a little bit more detail. Uh, and in that regard, uh, we're looking for things like what is the main research question that you're going to explore? Um, what types of evidence and also what type of data gathering uh, technique would you, would you employ uh, to bring evidence to that paper? So there's there's also additional instructions about how we put together a project proposal. So if everything goes well, uh, the project topics will be uh, in, in the hands of the instructor uh, three months prior to the class starting, and we'll have a well-defined project proposal four to, week, four to six weeks uh, uh, before the class starts. So that's a little bit about the incubator. And just the last comment before we end this session, um, I would just, just highlight that uh, in this incubator period, the instructor uh, will be available to, available to you uh, to guide you through those two assignments. And in short, just looking forward to looking, looking forward to working together on, on this particular assignment.